Recently, I tried my hand at making a quick draw sheath. I showed it to you in a video not too long ago. And I made it with a cutting board material, which I put on a drill to get that round thing going on. A Just a regular screw of some kind with a, I think that's called an acorn nut. Made a few mistakes trying to figure out how the mechanics went together. I did not do a video on how to make one, but I just proceeded to make one and show it to you. Turned out okay. Some of you like it. Well, I took it to the next step. The following video is for your entertainment. Greetings, I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you are. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Johnny, I'm an artist, I'm a musician. I like sharp things, I like to go into the woods with those things from time to time and share my experiences with you. I'm also starting to share a little bit more of the gear that I use in those videos. Please check out my playlists. All right, let's get on with this video. So, like I said in the preamble at the beginning, I made another one, another quick draw sheath, and this is the result. I would say, I'm going to brag, my leather work is starting to improve and I'm starting to notice that when I spend a little bit more time with it and just enjoy the moment, I start to get better results. In the past, I was always trying to pump things out just because I was in a hurry to wear it. This turned out good. I got some Chicago screws this time, got some washers, got a different bushing system, had to get a few things, I had to wait for them to come. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the results of this. I'm going to show you some clips here in a minute of me putting it on my belt and taking it off. I don't have to take my belt off in order to put this one on, which I really like. And I, I wear this down on the left-hand side so I can always look down and remember who I am, just in case I forget. Turned out really good. Yeah, I'm kind of gloating a little bit because I'm kind of happy with this. Um, I might make another one, maybe do some more fancy stamping or something, but... So it's kind of designed... Well, you already know what it does. Let's put that here for now. That's the Alaskan Guide, by the way. So this time I used a different type of washer and some metal washers and Chicago screw. Everything kind of just worked out really well. Did some rounding in there. My stitch work. Not the greatest, but not that bad. Starting to come together. I have made a little um, template, so I could probably make more of these. Not saying anything, I'm just saying I could make more of these. I'll probably do a few different colors. Uh, maybe some different stamping. Okay, so this here is designed so that, uh, by the way, uh, before I even say any more, that's right, it's made for the 112 as well. Okay, so here it is with the Buck 112. Works just fine. I designed it in such a way that with the 112 that is, let's try putting it in the way I envision. So it's not locked, or unlocked, I should say. Give it a shove in. If there's a situation where you don't want it to come flying open, you could always just give it a push and pull it out this way. Not as scary, right? Let's try that again. Let's try that one more time. Let's put that in. It's still new, so it's not really broken in yet. At least that's my excuse. Right? Voila! Works just fine. I really like the way it, it works with the 112. I like the way it works with the 110 too, but works well with both the key is getting this uh, this bushing here, getting that in the right location, works really well. Let's put the 110 in. Now, the one thing I might do is 
get it so that I can get the 110 to come out as well. But maybe I'll do that on another sheath. That's the Alaskan Guide. It really does look good. I've also got the, the DLT exclusive here. Now this one's got the quick thumb stud on it. And it doesn't really work as well. It, what happens is it gets a little bit tight in there and I don't want to do it because it gets stuck. So this um, obviously is rubbing somewhere on the inside, but that's just darn good looking in my humble opinion. So this is how it goes. Just put your belt in there and slide it over the top. Let me go into the kitchen and demonstrate its features. There you have it, another quick draw sheath. This video is designed to inspire you to maybe get a couple of basic leather tools and get at it. Get out there, start making some stuff for yourself. This was a lot of fun. I really like doing this. I definitely am gonna make more. Let me know what you think of this one. In the meantime, we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.